Hey guys, we are in the heat of summer, so I thought it was the perfect time to show you my favorite three ingredient strawberry frozen yogurt. I'm Meg and I'm passionate about finding ways to make life with kids easier in the kitchen. So let's go through our three ingredients. You'll need frozen strawberries, some plain yogurt, and some agave syrup. For this recipe, you will need a food processor. Brooke has already asked me if she can use her high-powered blender. I said yes, she just needs to puree for a little bit longer. So in my food processor, I'm going to add my frozen strawberries. Next, I'm going to add my plain yogurt. It does need to be unsweetened. I'm using just a regular yogurt, not a Greek yogurt, for once. You can also use a full fat, a low fat, whatever you have on hand. And then I'm going to add agave syrup. You can use whatever sweetener you want. So it can be a maple syrup, a honey, but I like the slight sweetness of the agave. Next, I'm going to put my top on and puree for about five minutes. You'll know your frozen yogurt is done when you can't see any chunks of strawberries. Now, at some point, you'll probably need to redistribute the frozen strawberry that isn't quite pureeing, so I'll do that with just my spatula. You can see the really big chunks of strawberries that need to be pureed. My yogurt has been pureeing for a full five minutes. It's really, really smooth and creamy in texture. Now you guys can enjoy it right away or you can mix in a little bit of extra toppings. I'm adding some chocolate chunks to mine. This does not count as one of our three ingredients. I'm just gonna sprinkle them in and give it a quick mix. You can put it in a bowl and enjoy it right away or you can scoop it into a container to store in your freezer. Now I got really fancy and I ordered these guys off Amazon because I thought they're super cute and we're gonna actually be serving this at a party this weekend so I thought make it a little fancier, but a Tupperware container works, anything that you have on hand. I like my frozen yogurt a little bit harder, so I'm gonna pop this in the freezer for a few minutes. So I have one frozen yogurt that's been in the freezer for a little bit. This one was frozen solid, so I've let it sit on my counter at room temperature for a few minutes just to kind of thaw and make it easier to scoop, and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. So there you have it, a really simple summer dessert. When I first tried this, I thought it was gonna be way too simple to be delicious, but I promise you it's one of the most fantastic things you will taste all summer long. So I hope you guys give it a try. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye guys.